X players in the arena very shortly. Got both Frisky and Octave here, and uh, obviously both of these players doing fantastically in their own uh, like respected tournaments. They enter Frisky, very good uh, European inkling, and then Octave is a very good, uh, possibly the best uh, Pac-Man in the UK. So, All right, so he's going. He's got a Wolf as well, so he's using Wolf for the first game. Ah, oh, of course, of course. I think this matchup might fare like a bit better for Wolf than uh than England, just because of that reflector. Hmm. And that blaster too, being able to take out the Hydra in a two very good blasts. Right here, taking a tiny bit of a percent lead, but um I'll say he's already trying to get something started here, charging up his fruit as well as using that hydrant to really good effect. So Frisky being the Norwegian um, Inkling Wolf, he's also got a Pokemon trainer as well, and Octave being the Pac-Man from Scotland. So this is a very European affair. He reflected the bell, but that was a bait. Oh, really nice F Smasher. <laughs> that was an amazing Punisher. Octave taking a really sizable hit here. Only at 60%. Yeah, it's not too much percentage here. Now, I think the main thing that Octave's just going to want to do now is just... Uh... He just sort of chill back a bit, try and charge his bonus through, get the Hydrant on deck, but Frisky's doing a really good job of stopping the Octave from getting these setups with the Blaster. Yeah, stop getting oh. getting started here. Octave can't get any started, but he doesn't have to approach it. He's the one who's got the stock lead here. Yeah, absolutely. Like, he can just chill back and charge through and just chuck it at Frisky. Um, but maybe one thing he is starting to do is just maybe trying to see how Frisky is reacting to that Hydrant, because I know a lot of the... Uh, like mid to high level pac they do like to just uh, punish you for dealing with hype. Like, if you're just going to yeah. attack it, they can just go through it and uh, really mess up your day. So, I think that's what Octave's trying to do here. But Trying to gauge what Frisky's going to do in the Hydra situation. Yeah, absolutely. We see a tiny bit of it there because I think um, Octave's going to use the Actors to try and hit Sisk uh, Frisky Siskin after uh, using the uh, the Blast of the Primal Hydrant. So, really nice awareness there from Octave. Oh, he's re the bell. You can re-grab it once, but then you can't re-grab it again after that. It just appears. And also, if Wolf is holding on to the um, the um, projector, I don't think uh, Pac-Man can get another one out until it disappears. He might be taking out all his time. It's holy water. It's one of the two. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's definitely. Oh, uh, that's a reflection. That's a stop. Ooh, really nice match. Yeah, but Octave really does have to be careful of Wolf's reflexes since it is such a good tool. Only coming out on frame five too, so. Really, even offline, even online, you can react to uh, Pac-Man's projectiles and just uh, and just reflect it right back there from Frisky. Otherwise, it would have been keyed. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Pac-Man's key is just such a like powerful move, uh, especially in neutral, since it covers like such a long range. Now, that was a really that was a really weird interaction there with Vanessa, stopping the damage on the hydrant altogether. That's gonna do that. Water doesn't do any damage though, so. Right. Oh, oh, yeah. cool. Water pushes you away, which can also be used. Oh, the melon's stopping the Hydrant from getting damage on Octave. Though. If it hits an item, it's the um, damage factor goes away. So that's why we're choosing that. Oh, dear. I've been proven wrong there. <laughs> Maybe because Omish didn't hit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We've really got um, Octave in that corner. I mean, he was at. He was at uh, what? He was at 130% when he lost that stock. And this, just taking another stock of green. Yeah, like, Octave was at 60 where he took uh, Frisky's, like, uh, third stock, but now Frisky's just in the lead. He's done a really good job ah, of bringing this back. He went here. the wrong way there. Force yeah, I think, oh, taking that stock, but he went I think Octave's kind of panicking a little bit now. He's yes, using he that, uh, he's just using that up smash right after the grab there, just trying to catch, just trying to secure this kill. Pac Man, if I don't have the correct setups, also can struggle to kill in this situation, so. Yes. I think, think Frisk is aware of this and he's taking a few more risks than really he should be, but it's, not, it's working out nonetheless. Uh, oh, good, good awareness there from Octave. Deliberately didn't yeah. actually throw him there so that the Hydra could hit Frisky. Smart stuff. Yeah, that, yeah, that was incredible stuff there. Just the stuff you'd expect to see from a Pac Man at this level, but looking at this right now, going for these uh, really good uh, combo strings here with the, uh, with the fair. It is such a fast move. It's like frame four and the uh, combos into itself is crazy, but. Look at it now. Frame, so Octave's got to be aware of this. Oh yeah, Wolf has a load of really good two-frame options which can just kill. Um, especially that down smash. Uh, which we're going to see him with there and now Octave's going to be able to get some nice little stuff going of his own. He's, he's going to get away right. with that one though. It's 
what we're fighting yeah, for again. If you were fighting oh, for- Oh no. my god. Yeah, this is a great roll. Yeah, fantastic roll from Frisky there, and that is going to be him taking game one. Um, I think defend. I think depending on when you reflect for Bell, um, it doesn't actually come back down. Like I think if you like get it on the landing hitbox, it just uh, it just carries on flying up and never stops. So yep. I think that's I think that explains that there. But yeah, amazing uh, first game for Frisky. Indeed, it was. Now let's see where they're going to be banning. All right, let's have a quick look and see. They're going Carlos game two. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's extremely understandable there. Um, Wolf's got an alt sage, so really alt sage just want, wants to go through the comfort picks, and Kalos obviously being one of them for Pac-Man. Mm. Let's jump right into this game too. So, Kalos is the pick, and uh, we go again. Yeah, of course. Now, this stage is going to give Octave a lot more um, opportunities to be able to camp back and go for his bonus fruit, but Frisky is keeping in the corner right now, using some really nice, well-placed aerials to sort of keep him from charging his fruit, but one thing about, like, Pac-Man compared to most zones is that he's got so many good, like, boxing capabilities up close, so uh, he's almost going to be able to use that really well if uh, Frisky tries to dominate his face, which he's clearly doing right here. Let's have a look. Alright, so it's quite close here at the moment. This is just working out what uh, Octave's going to do there. Like, reflecting the Hydro, and Hydro's too high now. Yeah, of course now. Oh, very nice blast of it. Sort of get rid of the Hydro, and also hitting Octave in the, in the process. Um, looking at this here. Oh, very nice back here. I think um, Frisky's catching on to Octave jumping a lot. He does like to go for these full hops, which are going to get him punished if he keeps yes. going for them. You know. Let's see what's going to happen here. That down there is a kill confirm, but uh, Frisky keeping underneath. Octave not coming out quick enough, but this. Yeah, that's not going to be good. Oh yeah. He's also kept the orange in play. But the orange is not going to come back down. It's not like a gyro. Just dash attack him. That's absolutely fine. Well, if they're going to be in the corner shielding, you may as well. <laughs> um, I'm kind of surprised that Octave didn't smash attack uh, Frisky just now. Instead, he went for the grab. Trying to do yeah, all these complicated that. setups now just to try and force something out of Frisky, but uh, Frisky's not budging him. Yeah, I think um, I think Frisky might have a tiny bit of Pac-Man experience and is, a, is aware of what this character can do. So I think we're just trying to run around a basic uh, basic Pac-Man setup. So maybe Octave needs to go for a bit more of a complex one here. Mm -hmm. well, going for that melon uh, water gun thing, but it, it did whip. So oh, obviously yeah, I think the that's showing... not stopping the apple. An apple yeah, a day I... keeps the dot. The apple a day keeps the wolf away, as it's known. As as it is known, exactly. Um, I'm just trying to think what Octave really wants to do here. I honestly think he needs to go for a few more complicated setups just so then he can uh, catch Frisky off guard here. Because I think after that game one, uh, Frisky does especially know what Octave is going to want to get now. So maybe going for a bit more unorthodox stuff here could really help out Octave. But for now, he just needs to land. Oh my god, Frisky's an amazing job keeping him in the air. He's not going to quite do it yet. He tried to pivot grab. Wait, you don't want to be doing that too often. Yes, I think I do have the names the wrong way around. Uh, yeah, you do. This, that, side, that Galaxian into all those, um, and then into a side beat is a um, Octave combo. He's tried to hit me once with it before, though. He hasn't quite succeeded, but it is a combo. It's his own combo. Absolutely. Oh, that could have been bad. Very nice shield pressure there, using the, uh, the Galaxian. The Galaxian, Galaxian and the yeah. yeah, yeah, to really get some nice shield damage. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, mate. One thing I'm surprised at actually is Frisky isn't scared to go off stage against Pac Man. If we have a character is, is, with like, as good as safe and as a recovery as Pac Man, you really just want to stay back and try and let's trap. But Frisky's been playing a bit risky. He's been going off quite a lot. That's indeed. But he's got the lead now. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah. He just, doesn't, he doesn't just, stop anything. Yeah, he can just camp back here with Blaster, and uh, with it being such a powerful move, like, I think Octave's gonna have a bit of a 
problem getting around, but... Being said, he is getting that damage and he's reading the attack options. Key in play, nope, gets rid of it straight away, not ideal. So, Octave, he's on his um, winner's side stock, don't forget, so... He's gotta... He's gotta get this KO. Yeah, absolutely, like, uh, 161 definitely needs to find a kill at this point. And, uh, trying to... I think the best bet might be to try and charge Apple um, and just try and get a kill off that, considering it is very powerful and uh, reasonably fast. Um, I think uh, the stream's experiencing some issues, uh, JJ. Oh wait, my bad now. I mean, that was a brilliant game there from Frisky, gonna be finishing off 2-0. Uh, Alright, stream looks good now. Um, had some frame drops there. The no, there was no frame, no, there wasn't any frame drops, it's just the fact that they overloaded. The classic JJ yeah. problem of not having the right hardware. Whoops. There we go. That is Frisky taking it 2-0. And is that him? Is that him in top 64 now? It is indeed. Yeah, he's in top 64 yeah. on the winner's side. So, um, very good stuff. Indeed, it was very good stuff there for him. And um, I need to um, come on, get over there. You stupid. We've already got quite a foot. Quite a fair few people in our uh, top 64 already. We've got people like uh, Champman, Shanique, Super Striker, obviously, who we saw earlier. Yeah. Um, yeah, we've got a lot of brilliant people already in the uh, top 64 side. Um, and loads of people still trying to get through on the loser side as well, don't forget. Target like... has literally gone through on DQs. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if it, I mean, less effort. I, I, well, I, I mean, he's only done one set. <laughs> Which was second Super Strike, and then everything else is just got through on the EQ side of things. Shenik has just beaten Bengus, by the way. Uh, 